An emotional day in court as the mother and sister of this former police officer pleaded with jurors to spare his life. Bobby Cutts Jr.'s family described him as a fun-loving youngster who grew up to be a devoted father and hard-working patrolman. Relatives are trying to show a different side of the 30-year-old convicted of killing his lover and their unborn child. We want you to listen to our case, ladies and gentlemen, because there's a story about Bobby Cutts that you haven't heard. And we would like you to listen to it, consider it, and come to a fair and appropriate verdict in this case. The same jury that convicted him earlier this month of aggravated murder was back in court Monday for the sentencing phase. Jurors must decide the death penalty or life behind bars. And you have already unanimously found, based upon proof beyond a reasonable doubt, that there are in fact three aggravating circumstances that exist in this case for each count of aggravated murder, the same three for each of the two counts of aggravated murder that you found. Cuts testified he accidentally killed Jesse Davis with an elbow blow to the throat during a disagreement and then dumped her body in a park in a panic. But prosecutors say he killed Davis and the unborn baby last June to get out of paying child support payments for a fourth child. The couple's toddler son was home when his mother was killed and later provided clues that led police to Cuts. Cuts initially denied any role in her disappearance but later led authorities to Davis's body. Diane Kepley, The Associated Press.